ladies, it's your girl I, Christine, and today we're checking out a miscellaneous myths Pele um, video. This is by Overly Sarcastic Productions. You guys loved the last one that I checked out and kept telling me to check out more, so today this is the one we're checking out. The link for this video is in the description box below for you to see, and yeah, I'm excited to see. I really did like the in-depth uh, explanation she gave of the last one of the two characters where you have the um, the little, he's like kind of like a cherub-ish god and falling in love with that girl who was so beautiful and she was like, I felt like that girl was kind of like, uh, but I, as far as the personality, however, I really did like the story and the way that things turned out for them. Well, no, actually I didn't like the way things turned out. It was not a good way. Gr Greek, Greek mythology is so tragic. Greek tragedies, that's what a lot of them are. All right, link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Also, you guys voted and said yes, do a Q&A. So I will be doing a Q&A. Let me know your thoughts down below and also put your questions for the Q&A down below. Put hashtag Q&A, like Q-N-A, so that way I know that question is for the Q&A. If you don't put it, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is not a question for the Q&A. So put hashtag Q&A. All right, let's get started. What kind of personality would you assign a volcano goddess? Uh, I'd say most of us would agree that temperamental yes, would be an understatement. That. Well, Hawaii would seem to agree, Makes as sense. the Kupu Pele, creator of the islands, as well as the goddess of fire, oh. lightning, wind, and other wow. such consequences of volcanoes, is something of Yippola. a hothead, let's say. Uh, yes. Real quick, Kupua is a word that's not really god and not really spirit. Okay. Disney translated it as demigod, which has incorrect implications, as okay. it doesn't mean they're half god, half something else. Okay. Kupua are more like people plus plus. Not full on gods, but not really human ah, either. So, so for kind context, of like a cat. Captain America then? Like, because he's a person plus plus. Like, he's not on Thor's level as being a, you know, a god in, you know, the Marvel series or, you know, the Norse mythology. But also, he's not just a regular person. So he's like a person plus plus, I guess you could say. Or Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange would also kind of, I guess, fit into that because he's not, um, there. He's not up here, but he's definitely more than human now. Ish. Everyone involved in these stories is a Kupua, okay. so Pele. She's got a fair share of myths, which isn't too surprising given her importance to the mythos as a whole. Okay. One of her earliest stories explains how she came to Hawaii. See, before Pele, oh. there was this other volcano god thing named Ai Lao, what meaning the forest eater, which is a pretty sick the name for a fire eater. god, I gotta that's, say. Like, that's some Tolkien stuff right there. That's so really Ai good. Lao is not exactly well liked. Even no, though a I lot of these bits makes the islands grow, it's not like it's easy Look to live on an active people. volcano, and moderation isn't exactly in a volcano's Speaking vocabulary. Speaking of, uh, Condolences to everyone affected by the actual recent Hawaii eruption that just happened. I had no idea. I had no idea. But now that we're here, shout out to all of you. So Ai Lao lives in a volcanic crater, you know, for thematic appropriateness, Obviously. specifically the caldera of Kilauea, okay. the most active volcano this on makes the island. And as Pele's making her trek to Hawaii, she decides to stop by and pay him a visit. Okay. She's been having trouble finding a suitably hot place to set up shop, and the biggest caldera on the island seems like a good place to start. Oh, but when so she, she gets there, to. the crater's empty, because Ai Lao catches wind of the fact that Pele's heading okay. his way and absolutely flips out, abandoning his crater oh, wow, really? Pele gives a mighty shrug, digs herself a suitable home in the crater, right. and sets about making the oh, wow. light. It's here on Kilauea that one of Pele's more well-known okay. myths Happens, where she finds herself locked in heavily symbolic combat with the rain associated picture. Kupua Kamapua. See, volcanoes produce some of the world's most fertile soil, True. but it can only be cultivated with the addition right, of rain. Yeah. Symbolically speaking, the volcano and the rain kind of need exactly. each other, but they also kind of hate yeah. each other. This dichotomy <laughs> characterizes yeah, most Ow. of Pele's interactions with Kamapua. So Kamapua is a Kupua with daddy oh. issues, and despite being very handsome, makes a strong oh. effort not to show okay. it. It's scary tattoos and a face full of right. stubble. He tries ineffectually to seduce Pele, and when she refuses, mm. they decide to duke it out, Kupua to Kupua. Oh. However, after they come to the conclusion that they could totally Wow. kill each other, they decide to totally make oh, out wow. instead. Ah, a tale as old as time. Uh, yeah, so they split the island down kinda. the middle, each ruling half <laughs> of it, which Crazy. corresponds to the fact that the northeastern half of the island gets more rain than the southwestern half. Okay. Kamapua, having known true love and overcome his daddy issues uh. for the first time, briefly turns back into a hot guy, which freaks out Pele, so she runs off and throws a bunch of lava. Really? Kamapua dives into the ocean to escape and turns into a trigger okay. fish, while Pele misses him already and later has a kid. Okay, which may whoa, not whoa, whoa, whoa. She's talking really fast. So there's like a lot of information coming at you really quickly. Um, I would have to say, um, wow. All right, so they hated each other. Then they, or their hate grew so strongly that they loved each other. And then when homie turned back into a regular man, she freaked out and tried to kill him. And then he's like, okay, I'm out of here. Turned into a fish. And then she's like, oh, I missed you. 
I know that there's a lot of time that passes in between like the real real story of not real story but the real theory not theory the yeah the real story of this not saying that this is a real story but the story that already exists of this um however in the speed that she's talking this is like bam 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 boom which is really fast not be a metaphor for the fact that a volcano is only fertile when paired yeah, with rain. True. Now, one of Pele's <laughs> myths is extra interesting to me because it's one of those myths that's used to explain some wacky natural I phenomena. Love her hair. In this case, the glacier on top of one of the volcanoes on the main island. Okay. You may note this is something of an elemental contradiction, but don't worry, the mythos has okay. you covered. So, Mauna Kea, the volcano in question, has four resident kupuas: Poliahu, the kupu Aww. of the snow; Lilinoe, kupu Aww. of the mist; Waiao, kupu of the underground reservoir; okay. and Kahopo Okane, the kupu of the springs She's in Hawaii. Me. And I Very really well. hope I pronounced that name right. So, these four lovely ladies right are partying up with a little something called halua sledding, more commonly known as Hawaiian lava okay. sledding. Don't worry, I swear it's safer than it sounds. For them. So they're zipping along, sliding down the slide, flying us. into the water, then coming back up to do it all Aww. over again. They're having a party when suddenly a beautiful stranger appears, calling herself Kea Hilele, mm. which translates to flying fire, but I'm sure there's nothing wow. to worry about. Kea Hilele says she's from the southern island and wants to join the sled party, but she forgot her halua okay. at home, so can she maybe borrow one of theirs? Kea Hilele turns out to be an expert oh. sledder, and Poliahu gets super into it as a competition. Right. They pick a couple judges from the local her. farmers and said about seeing who can sled down the volcano right. the fastest. Poliahu zips down as though the slope okay. were made of ice, but Kea Hilele gets down there so fast her sled is trailing oh. sparks. Or maybe that's just the respective yeah, elemental flashiness. Her. Either way, the judges hem and haw for a bit before declaring Poliahu the oh, faster okay. sledder. This displeases Kea Hilele, who gets extremely irritable and causes an earthquake. Really? The volcano starts spitting oh fire, and the four local kupua all realize simultaneously that they just called Pele oh a loser. Whoops. So Pele resolves to destroy wow. Mauna Kea and their precious lava slip and slides, so she starts throwing chunks of lava while the other four kupua oh sprint up the mountain. The island starts erupting, which is bad news for everyone, yeah. so Poliahu and friends spring into action. Poliahu whips okay. up a blizzard, Lili Noe blankets the um, ground with mist, and Waiyao and Kahopo Okane do their water thing. The end result is that the mountain gets capped with a huge mass of That's snow good. and ice, and the glacier spreads all the way down yes. the mountain, blocking off all of Pele's exactly. lava access. This leaves her relatively yes. powerless, so she leaves. A little bit of fun real stuff here, there's an ancient crazy. quarry on Mauna Kea where basalt was mined. Oh. There's evidence that Mauna Kea was volcanically active at a time when a glacier was forming on top oh, okay. of it, leading to that basalt deposit. The story is basically an anthropomorphization of what was probably a legit geological event, which yeah, is pretty sweet. Pele's pretty cool. folklore extends into the modern day, where supposedly she takes the form of an old white woman and asks for booze and smokes. Oh, wow. If you help her out, she'll spare you and your family from the subsequent okay. volcano party. If you don't, well, no party. Oh my gosh. Party. For me, it made me think of Moana, like the very first one, and spoil, if you haven't seen Moana, then maybe just skip to the end, end of the video. But for Moana, that first clip where you see the um, cupola, I'm gonna try to use the words, cupola in the mountain, and with the lava and everything, it made me think of the opening scene of Moana, the opening and ending scene of Moana, um, with, um, uh, what was her name? What was the girl's name? Well, anyways, the, the goddess of that, that created, she was the goddess of like nature and beauty, and she created a couple islands and stuff like that, and she created life and everything. I know her name, oh, the heart of, is it Waikiki, Waititi, or, Waifi, listen, y'all know the name, y'all let me know down below. Nonetheless, um, I really enjoyed this video. Like, I like these snippets of learning something from a myth that I have not even, I didn't even know existed, of learning of different cultures. Like, you hear of the big names of Greek mythology, and that's pretty much it. Or And then you know Thor and stuff like that. But to hear of, like, a Hawaiian myth, that's actually pretty cool, because I never really learned anything like that, actually, in school at all about their mythos. You just learn about Greek mythology, you know, um, uh, what's it, Homer and the Odyssey or whatever. I think it was Homer. Yeah, the Iliad and the Odyssey, that was what it was. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What'd you learn? My thing is the only only tidbit I have is that she's talking really, 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 really fast. So there's like, blah, 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 it's coming at you pretty fast. So if, if she could slow down just a little bit, that's no, no offense. If anybody gets mad, calm down, you'll be okay. But that, you know, just relaxing a little bit on the speed. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to put your question in hashtag Q&A for the Q&A down below. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below. If you like this video, hit the like, uh, like button. I love you guys as always, and until next time, buddies.